Good morning everyone. I am Prashasti of 10th standard participating in English allocation competition. Today, I am going to speak a few words on the topic, my favorite freedom fighter. India had been under the British rule for over 200 years approximately. There were a lot of brave hearts who let down their lives for the freedom of our nation. My favorite freedom fighter is Subhash Chandra Bose, popularly known as Netaji. Whenever we hear the name of Subhash Chandra Bose, the first thing that comes to our mind is a popular saying by him. Give me blood and I will give you freedom. People even today know him by the love for his country. This true Indian man was born on the 23rd of January 1897. Subhash Chandra Bose was selected for the Indian civil service. But he did not want to stay in England and serve the British government. He resigned from his civil service job in 1921 and returned to India after hearing of the national turmoil in India. He preferred dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. Subhash Chandra Bose was a revolutionary freedom fighter who is known to have founded the Azad Hind Army or the Indian National Army. For his revolutionary movements, he had been to jail several times. Subhash Chandra Bose has rightly said that freedom is not given, it is taken. A difference of opinion broke between Mahatma Gandhiji and Subhash Chandra Bose. Mahatma Gandhiji's soft approach towards the British war policy clashed with Subhash Chandra Bose's hardline approach for the same. Subhash Chandra Bose quit Congress and founded Forward Bloc. His military exploits, unmatched patriotism and exemplary bravery have made him a role model for the young men and women of India. He still lives within our hearts and minds as a leading light and source of inspiration. Had he been alive today, he would have given a new orientation to the political and social life with his so attractive personality and high sense of patriotism. Subhash Chandra Bose went in an aeroplane towards Japan but disappeared on the way. No one knows anything about him. It is said that his plane crashed at Taihako and he was born to death. Netaji has rightly said that one individual may die but that idea after his death will incarnate itself in a thousand of lives. As long as India is free, people will remember Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose with respect and love. His life gives us a message of courage. Thank you.